Hey there, I'm Nick, this is Shannon, and our Go Anywhere Home Tortuga. Join us as we drive our Jeep exploring the Americas in search of amazing craft beer, the best beaches, and spectacular sunsets. We are Beer Beach Repeat. Salud! Alright guys, so we're at the Canadian border. They're going through our truck right now. We got stopped. We've been doing this for about 20 minutes, so there's nothing to find. So. Hey, everybody! We made it through the border crossing. We're hey, in Canada! Canada! Uh, Canada. <laughs> we did it! Yay! Uh, so that was a little weird. Like, they definitely uh, pulled apart. They had us open the bed of the truck and, like, pulled apart the back seat and looked at everything. Yeah. We accidentally forgot that we had a, a half full of bottle of tequila, so we didn't declare that. So they were like, well, you know, next time just declare everything. And we're like, we literally forgot that we had it. Yeah, we didn't know. Uh, <laughs> what that says about our drinking, who knows? Mm. But we are in Canada now. And now we're at Tim Hortons. So we're going to go get some... Coffee and Timbits. Timbits. Uh, I keep wanting to say Tim Tams, but that's, that's not Australia. right. Yeah. yeah, so get ready for the Canada portion I know. of the trip. This is it. This starts Canada. Yay! So excited. Yes. Okay, bye. Hey guys, we are in a town called Eveleth, Minnesota. This is the world's largest hockey stick. <laughs> Looks like it's set up for a one-timer. Love it. This is pretty sweet. We've done it. We did it. This is how big it is. <laughs> it's huge nugget. It's a pretty sweet mural right here. Little Tortuga action. what is up everybody we are at our first campsite in canada uh at sioux narrows provincial park we spent last night um it was actually a little warm like surprisingly a little warmer than it has been in northern minnesota and things like that but pretty freaking nice uh our pay campsite for three nights just to chill and relax after being on the road for so long it's really really nice we're, now we're really enjoying in the it gazebo having coffee in my amazing denver zoo coffee mug uh one of the best zoos in the country uh if you're in denver go yeah um, so just really loving life right now yeah so um what we're doing is we're just chilling right now uh, we're gonna head down to the lake uh, it's called Lake of the Woods. We're going to head down to the lake here in a little bit. But right now we're just um, watching some YouTube videos of uh, some people doing the trip that we're about to embark on. Story Till Now and Trail Recon uh, just got just finished their trip up to Tuck. And... There's snow on their trip, so pray for us that it has melted. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we... Uh we waited long enough but yeah so they so we're watching their youtube videos um i've watched tons of youtube videos people doing the dempster highway this is shannon's first time watching people do it so she's really i don't know getting you're getting into it right like i'm into it fully <laughs> but here check out our setup so this is it we got our little jet boil here where we make our coffee some hopeful denver zoo sponsorship for some reason denver and then and then uh we are watching youtube on our ipad we have our starlink set up um, perfectly fine um, and, and our, we're bug free and our little gazebo thing that we we purchased and like this turning out to be one of our Listen, best best this purchases is luxury we are living our best life right now <laughs> bug free it's really um, free it's kind of weird because in america at a park like this we would see lots of these canopy screened in tents but here in canada canada we are the only ones with this luxury item so far. In our area. We so far, yeah. Too much. But everybody else has campers and things like that. And we just live out of a Jeep. So with, this is our way of just being a little comfortable. This is our new uh, Four Seasons room. Yeah, the alley cab set up. Oh, so we're getting some killer solar right now. Um, we're actually plugged into, we have an electric spot. So. Um, yeah, we're living a little luxurious for our first three nights in Canada, and then uh, we're going to be making our way west, uh, north and west. Uh, Winnipeg should be our first big city that we go to. We're going to hit up some breeze, probably do some laundry there, things like that. So, there you go. Go. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello from Ontario. Hello. 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 Hello.
We are uh, excited to be in Ontario. Enjoyed our few days here. Not seen much of Ontario, no. TBH. No, like, no, so yeah. Uh, came up kind of uh, towards the western border. Uh, not like along the western border, but on the west side of Ontario, if yeah. you will. Yes. Uh, and spent our few nights here. And now we are very shortly crossing into... Manitoba. Manitoba. What if I did every province in a different voice? Like, I'm Ontario. I'm Manitoba. Do you think that would be enjoyable? Oh yeah, are you, are you asking me or the viewers? Everyone. Tell us. Leave it in the comments. <laughs> uh, so this is province numero dos. Yeah, we will uh, very, very shortly now, we'll be crossing the the line here, the imaginary lines that they make. Uh, it's crazy. If you if you can go check out a map of Ontario. Cool. Uh, Ontario, chock full of lakes. Well, like, the area of Ontario we were in, Western yes. Ontario. Let's not make Southwestern Ontario. Let's uh, let's not um, presume that all yeah. Ontario is lakes. Where we were, lake, 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 yeah. lake here, lake right. there. Look at that. So lake. many, so much water. So much water. And so we're crossing into Manitoba here. And then we're looking at the map, and Manitoba's like, I've got three lakes. That's it. And it's kind of weird. It's like, really weird. Yeah, I mean, I guess like if, you, if sure. you look at the United States, like Minnesota, Michigan, up there, like underneath Ontario, is all those lakes. Allegedly, as well. Minnesota has ten thousand lakes. I tried to count them once. Did not get to ten thousand. <laughs> I think I got to like five before That's I got the four. sign. We're, the sign's coming up right here. We're gonna oh, cross into Manitoba. Gee, are you ready to see it? There you go. Yay, we made it to Manitoba. We're in Manitoba now. The speed limit went from 90k kilometers per hour maximum to 100 kilometers per maximum. So that's kind of cool. Per maximum. Also, I maximum. cut off Nicholas's head adjusting the camera. Oh, so Manitoba, you're starting off a little cray cray. Is all we're saying. Radar detectors are illegal Ooh, in no Manitoba. No radar detectors here. Yeah, we're good. Uh, so good news. No, don't do that. You're driving. Pay attention to the, the road. We're doing great. Um, all right. Well. Uh, stay tuned for more to come from Manitoba. Manitoba. Okay, so we just got gas for the first time in Canada. Um, Seventy-two dollars, fifty-one and a half liters. It was like one thirty-nine a liter or something like that. Um, so that wasn't too bad. Uh, we're gonna go get some candy because uh, we like to get candy in different gas stations in different countries. So. All right, so this is our first Canada wild camp spot for the night. We have this nice little body of water here. We've got some clouds coming in. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is gorgeous. We're in Crown Land, just uh, down a road and down a path off a road. Pretty awesome. This is great. It's pretty windy right now. Bugs aren't too bad. Lots of really big flies. There's Shannon right there. Say hey, baby. <laughs> Tortuga's all set up. We're tucked away off the road, so hopefully no one can see us. They're looking for us. Yeah, I know. Yes, this hazelnut flavor Kit Kat is incredible. Like, it's so good. Hazelnut's probably one of my favorite flavors anyways, but Kit Kat, oh, this is great. I can't wait to eat one of these cold. Hello, guys. Uh, the nice red glow of our camper. Um, we are turning in for the night. It's pretty gorgeous outside, but here's the thing. We're camping in Canada. I have crazy hair. Um, and the bugs are so bad. Like, we've been hanging out. We watched the Stanley Cup Finals tonight, Florida won. Um, Canada. So Panthers, I hate you. Canada's sad, so uh, so there's that. But um, so uh, we get in and we go out and we brush our teeth. The bugs are really bad. Um, and then what we do is we come in here and then uh, kill all the mosquitoes that got in while we were out. So a little nightly regimen of what we do. There we go. Another one done. Um, here, check out what it looks like outside. And that is a gorgeous sunset over this beautiful lake. And that's our very beautiful screen reflecting the red light. So the screens in the alley you can have, the mozzie screens are incredible. It's just that when you open them to get in and out, they let bugs in. So just like with any other screen. Good night, everybody. <laughs>